Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, we'll bleep that out. Why are you like this? I actually was gonna edit that out, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This should run pretty easily on here. I mean, you can hear it. It's not loud at all. It's literally a game made in Flash. Who gives a shit? I mean, who gives Don't a... We stopped for food 20 Katie. minutes ago. You call that food? Bro literally Come just on, fell off my knee. Can't you try to appreciate the unique All right, this is based on that... fell off. This is based on a reboot series, which a lot of people didn't really like. I watched it. I didn't hate it. It wasn't as good as a lot of the original stuff, but, uh, it isn't, uh, great. I'm going to play some Mario here. I thought you were going to watch me. Uh, I thought we were cuddling. We can't stop cuddling while we do our individual things on you. Fair. I am gonna still talk to you, but you're playing Mario Kart, so just chill. You'll oh still yeah, listen. you can still talk to me. Okay, that's all I'm gonna be like fully into Mario Kart. That's all I'm just caring about, but yeah. If I don't pay attention right away, just like tap my shoulder I'll and I'll like, pause it. Because I'm just, I'm not gonna be playing online, so I'll be able to pause it. Let's see how you squeeze your titty. No. Also, you're literally something. What did you do? Okay, no bad. That's okay. You're such a silly cat. Okay. Anyway. I shall be um, unstoppable! I've actually stopped caring, but anyway. What was I gonna say? Oh, so yeah, this is the reboot. I watched the full thing. Or, I didn't watch the full thing. I watched like the first three seasons, I think, when it came out. Like on TV, but I didn't get super into it. By the point that this game came out, I was already not into the show anymore. The first, When the first game came out, I, was, I, I bought it. But like I, when this show was out, it's embarrassing because I was way too old to be buying toys. But I went out and bought the watch from the show and took it to school. This is grade seven. You're adorable. Fuck you. Let's go. But uh. I played two hundred. I'm going to be in the Sure. But I mean, I don't know how to do two hundred. Okay. This one looks a bit more open world than the other one. The other one was a lot more like just of a beat em up. This one seems to have a bit of an open world, so that's cool. Ooh. Oh, look, my controller's green. Oh, that's actually really sick. I did not expect this game to do that to me. That's, that's a... actually really nice. That's a cool little feature. Yeah, um. But the thing with this game, like, yeah, I kind of fell off the series. But essentially what they it seems like they've been doing is instead of doing multiple shows like they did with the original, there was, there was Ben 10, Ben 10 Alien Force, Ben 10 Ultimate Alien, and Ben 10 Omniverse. For the whole story, they're just doing the entire... They're basically redoing the original story, but in one show. That's pretty neat, actually. Yeah, and I didn't mind a lot of it. It is a lot of a retread of the same stuff, and they do build it up and take a long time for each one. To think to, like they're only around the Alien Force era now, which is only the second show. But I think they did have some crossovers with the previous versions, and like I don't know, I never I loved I like Ben Ten. I never th hated this show as much as a lot of people did. I thought it was I still I thought it was neat that they were bringing the series like the character back for for uh, a younger audience. You know, yeah, it's a bit more Teen Titans goified in a sense, where it's a lot more it's not that it's episodic, but it's a lot more goofy. You know, it's a lot more focused on the humor. Than, than the serious story, but like the original show was very focused on being goofy too. It only came to the other two, the other, <laughs> three, sh the other three shows that actually made it like more serious, you know? So I don't mind that they went for a more lighter tone with this series because it was originally a light tone anyway. Like there was, there was always a hint. Um, yeah, it was never meant to be a super dark show. It eventually it got to that point, but it like, and there is still a place, a lot of people are like, well, there's all this lore and it removes, but no, it doesn't remove all the lore at all, actually. In fact, I think the series had a crossover with the original versions, because at the end of, this, of, the, like, of the timeline of the originals, they reset the universe. They make another multiverse. So this is essentially just what's happening in this new, that new multiverse. It was already going to happen. Because if you remember the timeline video we watched at the beginning, they make the universe. And that's the original. Yeah. Which just means it's gonna be an infinite reboot. They could finish this series with the same ending as the Omniverse and then do another reboot. It wouldn't matter. It still makes sense. Yeah, that's something that I really like. Okay, so yes, we've met Kevin, who wasn't. Oh, is that coins? Those are coins? Okay. 
I've never played this game in my life. This is my first time playing this. I've got this one. I have Adventure Time. I have SpongeBob, and I have Cartoon. I think one of the. I think one or two of those are two player actually. I do not think this game is two player. I know one of those four is two player though, babes. So we could do two player. Uh, the Cartoon. Other than Fortnite, at some point. The Cartoon Network one that's a crossover with like regular show. I think it's regular show. Steven Universe, Gumball, and Adventure Time and a crossover story. Yep. Um, they have a big cross. It's a big crossover game like that. That one's two player. And I think it's a kart racer. Ooh. It's either a kart racer or a Smash Bros. clone. One of the two. Either way, I know. So it's either Mario Kart or Smash Bros. It's still something you like. But yeah, I'm curious because I know this game's probably pretty easy. And I like I like Ben 10, and I played I completely I I want I um I beat the entire first game when it came out I got it from the library. Oh, I, I just snagged myself with a pink shelf. I got it from the library in the in the city I was living in at the time, which you know which one it was. Mhm. I. Accelerate's always been my favorite my favorite alien. I obviously don't have the ability to turn into an alien yet. I'm still playing as Ben, so we'll see what happens when I can play as the aliens. Because you can. Play I don't as... think I enjoy 200 CC. <laughs> I'm a rage quit and I'm doing horribly. You're adorable. But yeah, oh see now I'm heat last. Hella heck yeah. Sorry guys, we're trying to think where we don't swear because we're playing a kids game. Oh, I got a silver trophy. Oh, nice. This is gonna be one of those games, huh? Where I get to, like, really good looking. Like, trophies basically for everything. Trophies for everything that aren't, and like... Oh, the combat's pretty fun, actually. It's oh. pretty button mashy, but it's... Oh no, there's that... Oh, shit! Shoot, there's heavy attacks, too. Uh, they're not as fun to use, though. I've always preferred doing fast-paced attacks than compared to longer, harder button attacks. Button mash, Ooh. Yeah, I love button mash, but mashing when I'm in last. That's literally when my brother hit me upside the head during Smash Bros. one time. So he's button mashing and still doing Byron FM. Except I was doing a little more skilled button mashing because I, um... That's me with more With my combat. ex, I learned to like... Which one does what? Kind of. Like, I learned that if you move the joystick in different ways, you get different attacks based on what you as well. There's a bunch of variations. Don't push me off the edge, bro. That's so rude. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, something that's always been a fact of my channel that a lot of people don't really ever think about is that I mean, K-Wing Let's Plays has always been one of my heroes, and I don't know if they ever did this game, I don't think they ever did, because I don't think he liked the reboot, but, um, and he's very opinionated on a lot of stuff like that, honestly, but I don't really care about my place, don't care, but I've always liked doing these kind of things, so I just get some kind of coin, that's cool, I guess, but how do I, uh, I see. Who wants a BBQ monster for dinner? But I remember when the original I don't I never really got into the original Ben 10. Like I did obviously, but it wasn't really on TV when I was a kid. It was more Alien Force and Ultimate Alien that were on when I was a kid. And then by the time Omniverse came around, I fall I didn't watch the show anymore. Mm -hmm. And then I I eventually watched the entire thing around when I was probably like 14 and I got really into it. The reboot came out, and that's what got me to watch the rest of it, was because there was stuff in the reboot that was talked about, but I'm like, what? Like, the reboot still keeps all the original lore intact. It's just another universe, essentially. That's all it is. Another, And the the designs of the aliens are still pretty cool. Like, I don't see why so many people had such a big issue with this reboot. I think if you're going to have it, like, there's so many Cartoon Network reboots that people don't like. The Powerpuff Girls is one that people say was dog was not good. I never saw the reboot. I never really did either. I'm inclined to say that I didn't like it purely because it's the popular opinion. But like, that's what I think a lot of people tend to do is say that it's it's bad because yeah, they just agree without actually going and checking it out for themselves. Yeah. Whereas like to be honest, like I, I'd be possibly interested in watching it. In what? I don't know. Yeah, like I want to watch the old series first, obviously. It's not really my thing personally, but you do you. That's something I could probably do on my own time then. Through, like, maybe looking to do a review on my own channel or something. That would be awesome. I love that idea. Uh, how did I still get hit by that bridge? Okay, I have to remove trees as heat blast. 
pain and suffering Honestly, I, I, to all of your bloodlines. It's funny because Heat Blast wasn't really the, the fire alien that I remember growing up with. I grew up with Swamp Fire from Alien Force. Fire. But I honestly, yes. over over the years, I ended up liking Heat Blast this guy more than the other fire alien that they basically replaced him with in later shows. Mm -hmm. This guy's cool. I look at his design. He's freaking cool. His skull is made of fire. That's you can't tell me that's not cool. It's pretty cool. Another really cool part of the lore for Ben 10 is that each alien has its own actual. It's not just like a power. It's a complete species. Like there's a planet of these dudes. There's a planet of every alien. And that's something that's really interesting. Is that it's not just like a watch that turn gives him superpowers. It's literally a watch that turns him into just another kind of species. That he just. Oh, and then he just names them funny names basically. That's kind of where it, it's like Heat Blast is just a name he came up with because he didn't know they were actual aliens, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's like so cool is how he kind of discovers a lot of that stuff. And that's another, that's one of the things I really like about shows with big lawyers. I like a show where the main character of the show is, yeah, he's the main character of the show, but it doesn't mean he's the main character of the whole universe, you know? There's still lots of stuff that happens without his, his involvement. But he, he's just kind of a small piece, you know? Yeah. That's why, like, Star Wars, for example, is really cool, because, yeah. And, like, the Skywalker family is so important to the story, but they're not... They're the, not the entire story. story. Exactly. Like, I can read a book, or watch a show, or whatever the case, and it doesn't have a Skywalker in it. And I, uh, But I'm not, si and I'm not sitting there going, oh, this is a pointless spinoff. I'm sitting there going, oh, that's really cool that it adds to the universe. That's what I like. Same with, like, Marvel. Iron Man is absolutely meant to be the like main character of the, the MCU at, for the first three phases, but he doesn't take up everything. Like, he they just, all have their own important part to play. Yeah, he just happens to be, like, the main kind of, like, one that people enjoy, like, you know? He was the one who started it, so naturally he gets the most looked upon. Most and the most recognition. Exactly. But he's not the only superhero. He's not the all and all the all most important character. He's just there. Whereas the reason one of the one of the big reasons the Amazing Spider-Man universe failed that they wanted to do is because everything was based on Spider-Man. Like the entire universe was based around Peter Parker, somehow the most important person in the ever, and that's not how Spider-Man works. He's always been someone who he could be anybody, and it doesn't really matter. He never. Yeah, like that's kind never, of the whole point of this. Like Spider-Man could be anyone. He's not just a yeah. He's a random like, book anyone, Pretty much anyone could be there and just be like, okay, I'm gonna change the fucking world. Oh, yeah. sorry. But yeah, it's just like, anyone could really just be like, okay, I want to do good for the world, I'm gonna try. And, and it was more yeah. supposed to be like an inspiring story type of thing. Yeah, and he was also intended to be Jewish, but they got rid of that, apparently. Yeah, which I'm a little confused about, honestly. He was oh, Jewish, like, cert can definitely canonically Jewish in the 60s, because he uses <laughs> phrases that only Jews know. Which makes sense because both his creators were Jews, but it's kind of been more over the years that they've never, they've kind of made it ambiguous on his religion. But it is still suggested even nowadays that he's pretty much that he's most likely Jewish. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Whereas yeah. Daredevil is, is canonically a Catholic, like stuff like that, and it's kind of cool because they don't invalidate one religion or the other. In fact, it's actually hinted in Marvel and canonically true sometimes, depending on the universe that all religion and stuff all exists. I don't have that mutant mayhem. What's mutant mayhem? Well, the ones that you rented. Wait, no, that's the movie, right? That's the movie, yeah. That's why I'm like, if he means the movie, then sure. But I don't know what he's talking about. I think he knows what he, I think that's what he means, but. Oh, yeah, let me see the context here. Yeah, I'd be down then. I'm cool with that. I don't know how we would do it because we don't have the TV in the living room. But Thank probably God just. Scared away those I don't know. Well, whatever they were. Just, hey, I don't really know how we do that, but maybe. We'll figure it out. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah, my plan for a while was to just go achievement hunting on 
Um, my plan was to go achievement hunting on 360 games, but then I figured I would play some of these other games I got in the mood. I played Edge of Time on the 360, and then was like, which I forgot I had, and I'm like, you know what, screw it. Lord Decibel. I reserve you a I'm just feeling we'd have to try and force the Luna on time to work properly. You just oh, like I got distracted. Oh, oh no. Are you the last PC? Yes. I'm in my space. It's okay, I'm just gonna get like 27 bullet bills in a row now. Alright, well... Or fucking not, it gave me two green shells in 12th place. Sorry again. But how the potato nut does it give me two green shells when I'm in dead last? There's a bullet bullet. Oops, the guys. That's all I can really say that is. Oops, <laughs> I messed up. Four arms is a cool alien. Yeah. Understand how they're Honestly, I don't even know how to explain some of this, but like. Another bullet bill. The original watch only gives him 10 aliens. That's why he's been 10. Because he has 10 aliens. But he also has like ten uh still for ten years old. Uh you can say that Hi! I I've heard reports of one of the locations if you need to say literally There's some some stuff isn't so subtle. That's all I gotta say. There's some stuff about the series that they definitely came up with like before writing some ideas that they, you know. They probably they definitely came up with some of the ideas for the show a lot more before they actually like decided to make it a genuine serious thing compared to like a silly a bit more of a sillier thing. You know what I mean? I think there's things that they would probably want to change if they went back, but it doesn't matter. Hiya, I like the lore. It seems like the rust bucket broke down between a rock and a hard place. While I get us out of this pickle, I could use your help getting a fire started. I got into the six from being no dead last time. Oh, I saw some good fire Oops. But that's not bad. Considering that I was not paying attention for like the first quarter of that entire race. Yeah. This is kind of a like so far the missions oh. have been like collecting sticks and stuff in this park. This is definitely not like as cool as some of the older games, but whatever. Because I played a lot it of it. It could get cooler, because this is still early game. Keep I'm still in the tutorial, yeah. They're still trying to teach me how to use the aliens and stuff, to be fair. Mm -hmm. But, um, honestly, like, I forget what game it was. That's why I have so many of them on the list for the 360. Because I, I do still want to collect all the old games mm -hmm. and stuff on that list. Um, but I think... I used to... Oh, right. I think it's fun found an interesting thing, I think. I don't know. I found a collectible that I didn't know was here. But, uh... I think... We live in a society. No. My brain is being slow for a moment, when you say. That's honestly such a vibe, my love. Oh, um... Yeah, I used to have a lot of the older ones on 360 and stuff as a kid, and I really liked them. Like, they were, they were really fun from what I remember. So, I'm totally, like, that's kind of why I still, even though I haven't watched the show in quite a while, I'm like, I don't really care. Nostalgia moment. Yeah. Look at that fire. Because it still so reminds me of stuff. Alright, hot dogs uh, or hot hamburgers, hamburgers, bro, what's it gonna be? No. Oh! oh. <laughs> I just said I do with the ball! Now that the rust back in order, I can give you a lift so you can save the even faster. That was a painful faster. experience. <laughs> and I'll hold on to any cool stuff you find around Strudelbeck. Looks like I have a big adventure ahead of me. Now, okay, now we're out of this park. Now we can do stuff. Ben 10, power trip. Oh, sniped out the air. Oh, oh this the kinds. Oh, what the heck? This is literally an open world game. There are side missions. What the heck? 
this is kind of cool. Like, this is a, there's a lot more effort put into this game than I thought. There's an upgrade menu. There's a, like... I have you to thought it was just going to be a cheesy little crap game? I kind of did. I thought it was going to be something that's a bit more, like... I don't even know how to explain it. Um... So these are all main quests, so... You thought it was basically going to be more of a kid's game rather than, like... An actual, like, yeah, I, I did. It is definitely... Understandable. Cause, well, because the first one was. So they... I don't I don't know if it's the same company, but it, it looks pretty similar to the other one. But the other one was more like, you go into a room, you fight some enemies, and then you walk away. Like, that kind of game, you know? Like Streets of Rage, or, or Ration and Clank, or whatever. More of like a platformer type thing. Pain and suffering to all of your families. Uh oh. What one should I do, honey? Pick one. Mm. Pick one of these. I don't care which one. Undercamera inspection sounds interesting. Alright. Where did our son go? Oh, there he is. He's not at all where I was expecting him to be. He's normally up over there. But I settled down on the right. Oh, it's a boy. This game's two player? Do you want to play it? Not right now. I didn't realize this actually was two player. One of, you, one of us gets to play as the emo boy, apparently. I'm down at some point later, probably. Yeah. Just not right now. Okay? But it's good to know, though, that it's two player. Because we could totally do a cooperative. I could uh, totally do 48 races in a row. What the hell? Well, what the hell? You want to know what's funny? What? It doesn't even cover all the possible tracks. Did you just choose to do that, or what? Uh -oh. I'm not gonna jump off a cliff. I I really got the urge to jump off this cliff as this ten year old boy. No. Ten ten feet below. Yay! I thought I collected it. Do you want to go play Animal Crossing map first thing? Oh, how is it going? Away. Don't say that. She might be home. I'm talking to the cartoon dog, bro. Reggie. Not that one. <laughs> I'm trying to think about all the voices I can do. I can do Scooby, I can do Shaggy, I can do... I can do... Scooby, Shaggy... Mmm, like zoinks! I can do Rick and Morty, I can do Dipper and Grunkle Stan, I can do... Excuse me? What? You can do Dipper? Grunkle Stan! That sounds more like Morty. Oh, jeez, Rick! Shut up. I can do Blendin' Blandin'. What? I love you it's... so much. What? I just love you. I can do Blendin' Blandin'. Because it's just Morty, because it's the same voice actor. I still love you, nevertheless. I can do Lemon Grab. Because it's just the same voice actor as Morty. I adore you. What? You're such a little silly boy. I can do Nikki. I can do Goofy. I can do... I can do you. I can do... Ooh, ouchie. Nope. Honey, I have to go all the way over there. What Can the you not game? I'm pretty sure this is the first fully open world Ben 10 game ever made. How did people I get, like this? I get that I put it on hard computers, but that doesn't mean they have to snipe 47 different items in a row. But like, that's pretty funny though. Yeah, but I'm gonna fucking- I'm gonna scream! You're a cutie patootie. How about you? Angie. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should start swearing more. 
Because if I think about it, I don't want this video to get registered as made for kids and then have comments blocked. Yeah, that's fair. Fuck shit, Ash, bitch, cunt, shubity, doo-wop. I got second place, even though I drove off the course right at the end. This is, I'm assuming, for accelerate to like go super fast, to fast travel somehow. Kind of what I assume. So I hope run on the ramp. I know, I know I'm going the other way. I have to go all the way over there. Like, this game's really weird. I did not expect it to actually be open world. You know? It's pretty neat, though. Yeah, like, this has got to be the. I, I swear, like, this. Because all the other games were on, like, Wii and 360 and such. This has got to be the first true, like, fully open world Ben 10 game, for real. And there's a lot of effort. Like, yeah, the world's definitely extremely empty, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, there's nothing But here. they put a lot more effort than they realistically needed to. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. It was for the reboot. Nobody really was gonna buy it, other than little kids. Mm -hmm. So the fact that they put enough effort in for that is pretty cool. Um, I think, as a little kid, I would have been, this would have been my favorite game ever. I do kind of hate the fact that they're rebooting everything solely because of the fact that they're doing it as a money grab. Yo, no, 100%. The only, that's why this is like, one That's of, why I don't really like it that much. That's kind of why Ben 10 is the only one that I, I actually have respect for. Because even Teen Titans, like Teen Titans Go is, is absolutely the same. Like, it's a money grab. I watched it as a kid, and I, I can't say I didn't enjoy it as a kid, but, like, realistically... It's because, like, us as younger... Like kids. I hadn't even seen the original at that time. Like I saw all the originals because I, I grew I, up with them. Yeah. Like I'm a couple years older than you. Yeah, I'm only a couple years older, but my brother and my sister watched all of them regularly. True, 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 true. Yeah, I didn't really grow up with the original Teen Titans. I didn't get the Teen Titans, but I got the Power okay, Glove and the Ben 10 and all that. Yeah, no, I, I grew up with the original Ben 10, I, but I wasn't the first the first ever ones, it was, like, it, it was the darker ones, Alien Force, Ultimate Alien, and Omniverse, like I said, I never got to go into the original original, but from what I see, the vibe is not that much different than the series, so that's why I'm like, I don't really get it, it still has a lot of the charm of the original. I think it's the, anim the animation is definitely different in the, in the new one. It was, was hand-drawn in the original, it was the flash animation in the new one. So yeah. that, that's not great, because they always did hand-drawn, and they always did different styles. Like, Ben 10, the original, had a different style from Alien Force, which had the same style as Ultimate Alien, but then Omniverse was a whole other style. A very, like, much oh, more simple, no. angular. I think Omniverse actually had the same animators, like, uh, and, yeah, animators and such as, uh, when it comes to, like, char character designers as Detective Spider-Man, actually. I believe so. Because the, the, the characters look very similar to Spectacular Spider-Man in Ben 10 Omniverse. <laughs> also, this world isn't as empty as I thought. I found an enemy base that I didn't even know was in this game. I gotta know those were things. So there's an enemy base. I, I went and just beat up a bunch of enemies in a, in a secret base. Oh. This map, this mini-map isn't great. It doesn't really tell me where I'm It kind of reminds me of Breath of the Wild a little bit. Yeah, kind of a little bit. It does kind of have the Breath same Because Breath of the Wild can be pretty pretty dead at times but there's always enemy bases and stuff around yeah that's kind of the vibe i'm feeling from this is like a, a you can always just go beat up some random like that's kind of what i'm getting the from goblins this. and all that right now i'm getting baby's first breath of the wild from this game kind of right now yeah yeah that is kind of where i'm thinking that that's kind of a vibe though Pretty, yeah, that's pretty much what it feels like. It's like Breath of the Wild, but made for like. Oh, I still need to get Tears of the Kingdom. Help me! Who the fuck? What the heck? Somebody help me! Okay, I guess I gotta go fight this dude now. I don't know why I don't have any of my other aliens, considering this takes place canonically probably around like season like, season four, five, somewhere around there of the TV show. So I don't even know where this guy went. Where's the dude being attacked? I, I literally cannot find him. Sorry, sir, I, I literally can't help you. I don't know where the heck you went. I don't see it anywhere. That was weird. Apparently Ben cannot fight at all. It does not surprise me. But it's still pretty funny. Can I climb that? No. Oh, they got a cutscene. You know, I'm not at the... These are just events, eh? So this world is pretty big, I guess. Fast travel point unlocked. You're kidding me. So I had to walk all the way here over almost halfway to my destination just for you to decide I could fast travel here. 
that's kind of silly. I gotta be honest. I don't, I don't really like that too much. I'm also a child, a ten-year-old child walking on train tracks, and I don't know. I feel like this is currently a recipe for disaster, honey. Bro, some kids gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna be the child walking on train tracks and gets hit by a train. That's a me reference for real. Oh, it's I can I can ride a scooter. I have a scooter that makes me go faster, so that's not awful. And ooh, the, the frame rate is a consistent for 60 frames. I'm not getting any lag or stuttering, so I give it a lot of credit for that. I hate Mario Kart. This is probably one of the few time games I've actually enjoyed so lately. Uh, I was actually, it's funny enough guys, I was originally going to do the newest Spongebob game, Cosmic Shake. I actually have it, but the disc didn't work, so I'm not going to be doing it. So, I did it. Did... Stop! Violating me before I can react, bro. I figured I would do this game instead uh, of uh, of SpongeBob Cosmic Shake. Um, I've also, like I said, I've got an Adventure Time game I'm going to be doing. I've got a Cartoon Network crossover game, and I do have Bikini, uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. However, oh yeah, see, I was right. It's the scooter that lets me bounce there, though. But I have, I have um. The Battle for Bikini Bottom as well. I also just recently bought, um, Return to Arkham and Ratchet and Clank. Is, I have Ratchet and Clank as well, and I also have, I just bought yesterday Arkham Asylum and City, which I totally, I'm not going to be, I'm going to be waiting to do them for a bit, but, because I do want to replay Origins <laughs> on the 360, so, throw that some coins or just itching to spend. <gasps> What's up? Take a look at I'm a scooter commuter. <laughs> What's up? What did he say? That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny, I can't even lie. You know my I like how they're referring it to K-Town and W-Town and C-Town. That's really funny. That's pretty funny, I can't even laugh. I'm actually excited to see him today. Maybe he'll play- maybe he'll play Ben 10 with me. Fuck off. I actually really want him to. I think he'd have- we'd have fun together. I'd ask him. You guys told me kind of if you want. I just don't want you to be upset at Spaghetti because I didn't play Fortnite with you because he's probably- I can always follow their jam. It doesn't look like they're going to be welcoming visitors to me. Okay. okay. Definitely I was just going to- I mean, that's cool for me. If just... you guys want to do that, I can- Yeah, I can play Fortnite with Jay until Connor gets here, basically. Oh, no, 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 no. What? What? What are you talking- I mean, when he's here, I'm going to play with him. Andrew or Connor? Connor. Oh. Yeah, I meant I said Connor. I thought you, you did not, you said he, he, he. Oh, my brain. You did not use names, sweetheart. I'm silly, I'm silly. <laughs> you, I'm so... are, you are silly. Andrew's not home. When Connor gets here, I was going to say... They might you... be, because I can hear some movement out there. I don't so they, they might be home from their appointment. I don't know, we got home at 1.30, 1.45. I their heard appointment was at like 1.30. Yeah, we got home at 1.35. Honey, they wouldn't have gotten home until, like, recently. That's what and I'm saying. And if you were very invested in your game, I don't think you would notice. No, I, I would have noticed, trust me, I have a thing with front doors. Fair. I do, because my dad, I used to listen for when my dad would get home so I could make sure I didn't get shanked. Or brains blown out. Or... I, okay, okay, that wasn't great. Oh, I'm still on the scooter, that's why it was being silly. That one, that one's a bit on me, I won't mind. But, like, I'm not noticing any issues in this game so far that aren't my own fault yet. This platforming is really fun. Oh, my arm's getting numb, honey. You know what? I feel more comfortable doing this part as uh, an alien instead of as a 10 year old child. I mean, if he's Mexican, he can be both. 
Oh crap, I'm actually talking to a Mexican as I said that. Okay, there's something I'm supposed to be fighting, I guess. No? Oh. Bye. That really sucks. Let's go. Thank you. Did you not hear the joke I said? No, I said I'd rather do this part as an alien instead of a ten-year-old boy. And I said, well, I guess if he's Mexican, he could be either. I said he could be both. And then you were talking to an Mexican. I heard that part. Yeah. Okay, how do I get over there? Because there's stairs that are broken. It seems like it's gonna be an actually like I might have to actually use my brain for this. Oh wow, using your brain—that's a first. Yeah. I know. I love you so much. Oh, wait, I think I got it a little bit. Not really, but a little bit. First off, okay, that makes sense. I was going to say, why why can men double jump? But he can't. So that's the answer. The answer is he can't double jump. Which makes sense because double jumping isn't real. It is physically an impossible feat fact. Pain and suffering. Is it, it is, do you know why it's physically impossible to double jump? No, I don't. Why do you think it would be physically impossible for a human being to jump twice? Oh, you know, because there's nothing to jump off the second time. Yeah, gravity. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Overall, today's been a pretty good day, considering all things considered. It started off a little bit, you know. Iffy. Not even iffy, it wasn't iffy, it was just... A little bit anxiety and such. Yeah, That's all it yeah. Was. No, exactly. And I had that nightmare that was pretty bad, but... We worked through it all. Yeah. No, 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 it's all blue, Shelby! <sighs> okay, what did I do? I started something. Actually, thanks for that red shell, that helped. Because I avoided the blue shell, which disables you for longer. And also got two item boxes well, out of it from a single item box area. Wait, so what you're saying is robot to get that ODSP? Yeah, basically. I don't know, I'm just messing with you. I do wonder if there's a... Oh, pain! Maybe I should, maybe after this video, maybe I should read up on the lore of the reboot, because I have no idea how long, how far into the actual, um, I would assume we're kind of around the Alien Force era, of, if we're basing it off like the original, because it seems like I don't have, like my, my aliens don't run out, like I have ten, actually I have six, there's probably more I have to unlock throughout the story, mm -hmm. clearly, but um, Still. You just have to discover the other ones. But Jill probably give them to you during, like, missions. Other, other missions. I assume so. I'm just kind of like, I don't know, that's weird, because Kevin's in this. Kevin doesn't show up till the Alien Force series, which is why I say we're probably around the Alien Force era, but he's still clearly a ten-year-old, like, in the first show, so it's weird. And he still uses the aliens from the first show. That's why I'm thinking, basically, what they've been doing with the, the reboot is mashing all the parts that were most popular from the other shows. Which, yeah, definitely a money grab, but at least they're trying to keep it true to the original. Yeah, that's the thing. It is definitely... Oh, the reboot was no doubt made for money, but the fact that it does capture still a lot of the original spirit of at least the first show is something that makes me respect it a lot more. And like I said, yeah. the fact that there was, always, there was room for a reboot or a sequel to be made at the end of Omniverse, that makes me like, I don't really care. A reboot was going to be inevitable, and I don't. Ouch. And, and and if this is like you know the the worst that they would have done, Ouch. you know what I mean? For a reboot, this is not awful. This could have the reboot series could have been a lot worse. It could have been better, but it could have been a lot worse than it was. Um, the only thing I don't like was that they made the episodes t 11 minutes instead of half an hour. Just pretty cringe, not gonna lie. Yeah, I never really liked the shows that had episodes like that. Like, other than I, I say that, but like I watched an Adventure Time regular show in, in Gumball. Yeah, except they would have like two, two, two episodes in one. one, basically. Yeah, whereas Ben Ten, they it, it did, but it didn't. They had, they would basically. I'm sure if I got them on DVD, they would. But when when it was on Cartoon Network, it was just one after another. 
But um, it doesn't give a lot of room for the darker moments or the storytelling. Which is why I say they do keep it a lot more lighthearted in the uh, in the reboot compared to the original. But I still don't. I don't. Hate, I don't like the reboot still. And but they do take it at a lot slower of a pace because they plan. I think they do plan to keep the show going for a lot longer than they did for the original. Um, and that's kind of why it's like they. It took them this long just to get to the second show's kind of era. Um, I remember it took them almost two years of the show running, maybe a little longer, for them to finally even introduce new aliens. It, they're really making it a slow burn, but I think, I, I'm hoping that the end of it might end up paying off. The issue is I, don't, I, haven't, been, I haven't watched since probably like season three of this show, uh, and I think they're on like season seven or eight. So like I genuinely don't know if, if anything good will actually happen or not. I know that there was a movie that came out based on this show called Ben 10 vs. the Universe. I know that ben, this version of Ben 10 crossed over with Teen Titans Go, Powerpuff Girls, and OKKO okay and Steven Universe in a big crossover event episode with the four of them. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's all that I know. That's that's like I think the last thing I watched was the OKKO okay episode with them crossing over in it. That's it. So I don't I don't know. But yes, they, he did cross over with OK KO. I used to be a big animation nerd. I mean I still am, but in a different way now. Slightly less. Slightly less, but yeah. For years, even even when I was definitely too old to be watching like those kind of kids shows, I was still watching them. I still enjoy them from time to time, but I have to be in right in the right mood for that. Yeah, that's pretty fair. Lately, I've lately I've been kind of in that mood, to be honest. That's why I'm playing this. That's why I've been watching The Simpsons and been watching SpongeBob and stuff lately, a lot more. And Avatar. Avatar was a desire to try something new, and I know you liked it, so we're watching it together, of course. And that's kind of what. Really appreciate that. Of course, baby. That's something I never seen. That's why I got you. That's why I did Night Rider at 18 as well, but I didn't really like those two. They weren't really my thing. Yeah, Night Rider, it was something I enjoyed when I was younger, but growing up, I'm not as into it. Yeah. Because I mostly grew up with my dad watching it. Yeah, I, I, that's fair. I'm kind of glad I didn't get the, you that $100 box set for it then. Yeah. Because it, it definitely didn't end up being as big of a thing for me. Same with A-Team. A-Team I wasn't interested in, like, I was interested in it less than Night Rider. Whereas Avatar is something I'm actually really enjoying watching with you. Oh, it's got a really good storyline, a really good plot line. The characters, there's a lot of growth. With I watch them. Avatar for the plot. The plot is Katara's titties. The, car, the plot is Katara's titties. Wait, no, she's a child. Wait, no, not that one. No, what's the one that I like? The Dami oh, Mommy. Oh, Azula. Uh, Azula. But I think she's also supposed to be underage. I don't. Uh, She's younger than Zuko. And Zuko's about the same age as the rest of them. And how how old is that? Like, isn't Zuko like fifteen? Yeah. So she's like fourteen. Oh I yeah, think, I think she's canonically fourteen. Yeah, but she's like she's actually a psychopath. And she looks Neveo? like a, she looks like a dummy mommy. So like, Neveo, but actually attractive. Like for real though, because she looked like a dummy mommy though. I'm sorry. You cannot. I'm sorry, but. You can't design I, a character to look like she looks like she's like thirty. She looks like she's supposed to be in like her twenties or something. But if, yeah, that's one thing I don't like about that show is that the character ages are so hard to tell, other than Ang. But like Ang's supposed to be a teenager, but to be honest, he acts like a seven-year-old half the time. To be fair, he was literally ten years old ten, okay. when he got yeeted yeah, into that iceberg. That's fair. <gasps> Yay! Oh, yeah. Baby. I got, I got my favorite alien. Awesome! And I got another trophy for getting him, too. Look at this. Oh, he's got super speed. Yeah. He's my favorite yeah. alien. Oh, I, I used to have... Dude, this is basically just a driving part. Pretty much. This is kind of fun. It's kind of awesome, though. Hey, I like this character, but watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I don't think that I can't snap from enemy to enemy as easily, but that's a little bit, that's a little stinky, but other than that, it's pretty cool. No. You having fun so far? Look at even just his running, he, he runs fast. 
I had a toy of this alien when I was a kid, and that was one of my favorite toys I ever owned. I had this one, I had the big yellow dude that I can't remember one from, from uh, Ultimate Alien. And this one was from the original show. The big yellow dude was from Ultimate Alien. And then I had um, the uh, the big white thing, remember I was telling you about last night? Yeah. That, that one from, uh, I think it was from Ultimate Alien or... or, uh, or ben. And then I had, I had Swamp Fire from Alien Force. And then I had... I had an actual Ben 10 from Alien Force, like the actual Ben himself figure, but I think Evan has it now. I'll probably ask him for it, actually. Yeah. That's two things I gotta do. Ask Connor if he wants to play Ben 10 and ask Evan if he has my Ben 10 figure. I'll probably do it soon. I'm glad I got a hold of Aaron and Monica today. I've been doing so much adulting today. Holy crap. You're not even in a bad mood after No, I'm in a great mood. I'm playing Ben 10, bro. I'm so proud of you. I can't be in a bad mood when I'm playing Ben 10, huh? What? You're the second person to say that. To me. I said it yesterday too. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying. You're doing really good, Lightning. I wasn't doing something yesterday, it seemed. You were. I just I couldn't see it. I was having trouble seeing it. That's on me. Not on you at all. Oh my love. I love you too, sweetheart. But now I'm about to do a little trolling. Are you gonna... <laughs> yeah, I was expecting that. My flabby arms. Yeah, I think they're cute. <laughs> they got their own little charms. Just like you. Every part of you has its own little charms to me. You know what part has the most charms? Huh. No. Now that no. things seem to no. be under control, mm -hmm. we can lock this down. I already said that. No one ever has to know about the Hey, wait. Is this thing on? Connor's right. You have a very soothing voice, honey. Even now, even after it got deepened by whatever the hell kind of throat infection we had. I think it's messed up how we're the only two who got it. And my voice got affected a lot less than yours, is all I'm going to say. To be fair, your voice is always a little bit deeper. Yeah, my voice is always Because you're kind of, you have testosterone in your body. Oh, yeah, I got that big T word. Wait, no, not that T word. <laughs> I mean, you got a little bit of that, too. Shut up. <laughs> If I can get the extra money, I'll get the extra money. Oh yes, absolutely. When like, Connor's... We all have to wait till the 15th for it. We're absolutely not going to. We should get it out of the way as soon as we can. When Connor gets here, I'm going to ask him to help me put all my... Help me decide which collectibles to sell. Because there's still stuff I want to keep. Anything you that you got me. Well, that's like... Basically anything I was like actually a gift. Yeah, anything I bought myself, I'm willing to part with. But anything that was a gift, I'm keeping. Or anything that's not in a box or not in good condition. Yeah. Like. Because those aren't gonna sell for much. Yeah, like to be real with you, yeah, no. Uh, excuse me, game. Full poop. Alright, what's. What? Oh, so each of these seem to have storylines, okay. Or, or not. I can't just pick another mission. Okay. I guess I'll just keep going then. <laughs> Works for me, I get to play as Accelerate, my favorite alien. I love Accelerate. I would do this as a stream series, but the thing is comments are probably going to get disabled. On these, yeah. So I'm doing them as videos instead. 
I think I can edit out anything I don't want, which is always a plus. That's what I did with the Mega Man one. I edited uh, the last like three games together into one, basically. Yeah. Because that's like a short episode. Some shorter episodes, basically. It's basically a just... clip show. Basically, I did, basically did a compilation of the last three games for the last episode of Mega Man. The issue was, like, it, it's not even a big deal because they were all recorded on the same day, you know? Like, yeah. they were recorded one after another, and they were, were like, yeah, it's not, it's fine. I don't mind. Uh, I think I gotta use Heat Blast, don't I? To... Oh, yeah, I can switch. Oh, no. But I'm too used to moving fast as Accelerate now. Everyone else, and once I use Accelerate, everyone else feels so slow around me, bro. I know, that's what I always have, like, when I have to switch from, like, 150 to 100 or something. I'm yeah, like, oh everything feels so slow. God. Yeah, that's relatable. Like, that's why I haven't actually finished the Grand Prix for any of the other ones. Have you ever played the Tony Hawk games? Um, a little bit. I played one when I was on 360. Ooh, that's pretty good. As long as you didn't play Pro Skater 5, but that's not on the 360, no. so you're good. Pro Skater 5 was awful. Um, uh, they actually didn't even make a Pro Skater 6, they made, they just remastered 1 and 2. I played it when I was still friends with Lucy when we were real little. Oh, uh, I see. Because the Xbox was like one of the only things they had other than the Wii. Yeah. But Jacob usually got to use the Xbox, so we were like, whenever we got to use it, we were like, heck yeah, bro! Yeah, that was me with Michael <laughs> Kelly. She used to let me play, like actually choose what we did, but then she got extremely controlling and selfish. That is such a so white woman. Was... Yeah, I know, That's she a... is. You're also, I was... Never mind. I'm not that bad, okay? No, you're not that bad, I just love you. I just like bullying you because you're cute and you're adorable and I love you very, very much. Okay, this one's supposed to do something here? I just did stuff on... Bro, I just arsoned. Why did I get points for that? Why did I get points for arsoning, bro? Arson. I don't think we should tell people to arson. Arson is bad. Yeah, I can't. I'm. Just, I, I. was playing as regular Ben when I wasn't using the alien, but I have to be accelerated now. He's just too fast. It's. I have to keep. I have to do this. He's my favorite alien, bro. Yeah. He's this little skinny dude too. It's really funny. And he has wheels on his legs, babes. His feet have wheels. But you can't tell me that's not really cool. That's pretty dang cool. I can't even lie. Oh, yeah. The only issue with his figure that I had was that he couldn't stand. Because <laughs> he has yeah, wheels. Yeah, there's, there's also probably too much uh, weight to balance it out properly, because his head is probably heavier than the rest of his body. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Have you ever seen the movie, I think it's Toy Soldiers or something, is what it's called? It's the one where the toy soldiers turn evil and the, guy, the kids have to hide from them. I think so. I don't remember it off by heart, though. Um, it's a 90s movie. I think it has Mary Jane from the Spider-Mans in it when she was like 14 and a short-haired blonde. I think I do remember those. I think Colin watched them and I was stuck watching them because we only had the one TV. Um, I used to have a couple figures from those. Those were pretty cool. Now I'm just reminiscing on my toy collection. I'm not even going to lie to you. That's pretty much what's happening in this video now. Um... I'm so sad. You got rid of them all. It's okay. They're probably they look like they're gonna get scarred anyway. I could have prevented that from happening. You picked them off. If you had let me pop them properly, they would not have scarred at all. It's okay. It's okay. You're a silly butthead. Okay, I figured out how to get up here, so it's gonna hey, solve the problem. It took me a bit, but I got it. Um, so, I'm actually, I know this is bad for me to say, and there's a, I don't know how to explain this. I grew up with movie tie-in games, like I really did. I had a PlayStation 2 as a kid. Oh, you suck. When I was like little, little, like, right, like younger than my sister, yeah. I had a PS2, and I had a lot of like games, like me and my, I had Up, I had Bolt, and meet the Robinsons, like I had a lot of that kind of stuff, you know? Yeah. And I've always kind of missed the uh, the um, 
not the hype necessarily, but the feeling of playing is those kind of things or playing through that, you know? I don't, I don't know. A lot of movie tie-in games weren't good, but it's an era that I grew up in, so I'm kind of, I am nostalgic for it. Yeah. But the era is coming back with the PS5 because there's apparently a company who's been basically buying the rights to make games off of a lot of movies and stuff, and then making games based on them that aren't that good, but are, you know, essentially capturing the spirit of those old movie tie-in games. And that's really cool, actually. Hey, I didn't get any items from those boxes. Like, even if they're not great, I would, like, like, you remember that video of the Avatar game I was showing you on the PS5? Yeah, like, it looked kind of mid. It looked like it wasn't good, and it was essential, but it was like, it was, it captured, it really did capture the spirit to me of those original movie tie-in games, and I almost wonder if that's what that company's purpose of doing it was, was they, they missed it too, you know? Maybe it's Honestly, a Honestly, that's entirely possible. Maybe they're making these games kind of mid just for the people who like collecting mid games. Like me, because I like collecting games that are mid and garbage. This game, though, this game is not mid. This game is actually, like, I wouldn't Pretty call solid. it... Pretty solid. Yeah, I wouldn't call it, like, peak. Like, this isn't getting any... Oh, but it's the, the best of the ten, 10 games so far from what I've heard from you. So the other ones definitely had better gameplay and had more to them story-wise. This game seems to be a very much... Uh, this one's got more more gimmicks to it that are interesting. This one's about the same as the other ones, honestly. The only difference is that it has an open world, and I, I do think that's kind of cool. It runs really well, it has good graphics. Like This is essentially doing the same thing as the other games were already doing, but upping it a little bit with the hardware. And I like that. That's kind of why I'm giving it a pass for it being pretty empty or whatever, because I'm sure it didn't have a lot of time to be made. And like at least it's not doing it. At least it's not a kart racer like they did in the original series. They've been remade to see. That's the difference, and that's kind of what I think is, is interesting. Is like people bash the reboot, but there isn't a single game that has been made based on the reboot that didn't have a purpose within the lore of the reboot. Even this game. Whereas, like, whereas, fucking, how are you gonna fit Ben 10 Galactic Racing on, on the Wii into the story of Ben 10 Alien Force? You know. Whereas this one, I, I can place it. I can play this game and go, yeah, this probably takes place around season five of the show type thing, you know? Like, realistically. But it isn't, like, so necessary to the plot that it takes away from the show, where I, like, I have to pause the show and never watch it until I beat this game. But I can play this... Okay, well, that was a little weird. I did just kind of face the room with a wall there. That, I can't say that that wasn't a little bit weird, but it's not the end of the world. It's always glitches, though. No matter what game it is and how well exactly. it's made, there's always bound to be a couple of glitches. Yeah, and it wasn't a bad glitch. It was a bit of a- it was just a texture glitch where my character was too tall, but it wasn't- Yeah, like, like whereas in Pokemon Violet, when I was playing that, one of the biggest glitches I experienced really quickly was sometimes when you got off a battle, your Maridon or your Kuridon was just completely invisible, so you were just riding on the air. Why? Uh, and another one is if you battled too close to like a mountain wall, you would get glitched into the inside of the mountain without, a, without any ability to get out. You would have to literally fast travel to get out of there. That's actually kind of dumb. Yeah, it, it really was. I'm still very confused. That's the thing, the one, the one, like, the biggest flaw I would say this game currently has is that for an open world Ben 10 game, there isn't a lot to do. That's about all I've got for that. Is that, I would, but it's the it's literally the first open world Ben 10 game ever made. So I have to give it credit where credit's due and say, you know what, it's for the first one. And, could have been sign and just like the show itself, right? It's pretty mid, but it could have been for what it is. I respect it for what it is, and it could have been a lot worse. And like that's a controversial, that's a hot take for me because a lot of people disagree. A lot of people disagree with a lot of my film takes, but I'm literally a filmmaker, so kiss my ass. It's the one swear I'll allow myself in this video. Yeah, you're gonna have to bleep some of mine out. Yeah, I know that. I don't. Because there's a few, and I'm sorry about that. It's okay. You're cute. Mario Kart make angry. You're adorable. I want you to smooch me all over my face right now. Get over okay. here. Get over here. You look better, man. You're so cool.
Beautiful girl in the universe. 